Hey everyone, today I wanted to make a quick video and just detail uh, what I've learned with regards to the gas pedal on the Factory 5 MK4 Mark IV and some of the challenges uh, that are out there and what I've done to address those. So, um, you know, there's a lot of options. There's OEM options and there's aftermarket options and I chose to make uh, the pedal myself. I'm just fab. I actually ended up making two and uh, and because one didn't work very well. So the first one I made was out of steel and what I did is I measured the interior pretty close and I tried to bend the contour to match um, the sheet metal in the car relatively close and that way when uh, when uh, when it's actually mounted in the car you have more clearance between the brake pedal and I'm using an SN95 pedal box or a factory Mustang pedal box so you have to have more room to your brake here so you're not you know, reaching for the brake and snapping the gas and having a safety issue. So a couple of the obstacles I came into right away was at the top here where I attached to the throttle cable. This was actually catching on the foot box, which is a big problem, right? So you don't want to pin your throttle and then uh, end up with a wide open throttle situation and it's stuck. So right there, you know, that's kind of an issue. Um, and then secondly, even though I had the clearance, um, I did not have uh, the pedal angle that was ideal for my foot. So you end up pushing out real funny. So I added this standoff and this bolt here and um, to help some adjustability. But in, all in all, you know, it worked okay, but it didn't work great. And I just figured I'm trying to make, you know, something work that really isn't, isn't going to work very well. So that's when I kind of threw in the towel. And I took my learnings on this one and made a new pedal, and this time I made it out of aluminum. And this time I kept it straight because I realized I was able to achieve much of the same geometry by keeping it straight with basically a longer cable pole and then an offset pedal to the side, and that way you have a more linear feel with the gas pedal. So that was a big learning I had early on that well, it might seem good to kind of maximize that space um, in application it, and have more problems. And then also with the second design, I aim for adjustability. So I added some holes here where I could move the throttle cable up and down, uh, depending on uh, where the pivot in the car was. And then I also did the same for the pad. I uh, threaded an 832 nut at the bottom of this uh, aluminum. This is a, or I'm sorry, quarter inch aluminum. So you can basically loosen this nut, get the angle you want, position you want, and then secure it with the GM nut. So again, the whole intent here is that once I get this in the car, if I have an issue where my foot doesn't feel right, I can go ahead and make some changes to the geometry to accommodate uh, my, you know, the ergonomics in the car, and then also make sure you're getting a nice clean throttle pull. Um, something else I forgot to mention too is on uh, my pivot point in the car, the adjustment point, I had some binding. I actually turned a bushing here, so this actually pivots on a steel bushing. So I have a nice uh, smooth application. So. Okay, so here's a throttle bracket that mates to that uh, pedal. I was just showing you both of them actually. And the way it works here is this is just a, uh, it's a piece of steel I fab. I'll show it from the top of you, it makes sense. But basically this is just a I believe it's a three-quarter or whatever the size of this tubing was with some square nuts in the center as a jam nut and then there's a pivot coming through here so this allows you to slide this pivot point back and forth um, to aid with your uh, pedal position and fore and aft so that's another adjustability point so again intent again if you go oh what's with all this adjustability and so once you rivet all the sheet metal in and you drive it and you're like, oh crap, that doesn't feel right, you have the means to, to correct positioning uh, of the car, or I'm sorry, of the, of the pedals. Okay, so here's how everything looks uh, assembled. So in the car you can see I have pretty decent spacing uh, between that brake and that gas. I'm close to the side and I have clearance of that foot box up on the top. So Factory 5 does say to cut that um, in their assembly manual, and I did, and it's, this is why you gotta do it, right? It's pretty obvious why. So as far as travel, you know, I'm just, I'm pulling the throttle cable up on top here, but you'll see again, it clears that, uh, that bracket okay, and uh, you end up with some adjustability here, and you can, you know, 
get that full range of motion, you're close to the side, you got brake pedal spacing. So I think that's the most fun thing of these kits is problem solving things like this, you know, because it is a kit car. You're building a custom build and, you know, things aren't supposed to be perfect. You got to kind of put some thought into these things. But when you do put in the effort and uh, everything comes together, it's worth the work. So if you have any questions or you want to leave a comment, uh, by all means, and I'll see if I can help you out. Thanks for watching.